Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day it is, and whenever you happen to come across this broadcast. Hi, my name is Chris Rossetti, free to laugh now, here in the city of San Francisco, California. And I'm reading from the Bible, the account of King Hezekiah. We'll be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter number 36 and chapter number 37. So I hope you can sit back and relax for a few minutes and enjoy this historical account of King Hezekiah. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for coming in. And just relax and enjoy the story. Let's get started. Isaiah chapter number 36. Now it came to pass in the 14th year of King Hezekiah, that Shennacherib, king of Assyria, came up against all the defensed cities of Judah, and took them. And the king of Assyria sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem, unto king Hezekiah with a great army. And he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. Then came forth unto him Eliakim, Hilkiah's son, which was over the house, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah, Asaph's son, the recorder. And Rabshakeh said unto them, Say ye now to Hezekiah, Thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this wherein thou trustest? I say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words, I have counsel, and strength for war. Now on whom dost thou trust, that thou rebellest against me? Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. But if thou say to me, We trust in the Lord our God, is it not he whose high places, and whose altars Hezekiah hath taken away, and said to Judah and Jerusalem, Ye shall worship before this altar? Now therefore give pledges, I pray thee, to my master, the king of Assyria, and I will give thee two thousand horses, if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon them. How then wilt thou turn away the face of one captain of the least of my master's servants, and put thy trust on Egypt for chariots and for horsemen? And am I now come up without the Lord against this land to destroy it? The Lord said unto me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshakeh, Speak, I pray thee, unto thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and speak not to us in the Jews' language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said, Hath my master sent me to thy master to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men that sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink with you? Then Rabshakeh stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language, and said, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus saith the king, Let not Hezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered, into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hearken not to Hezekiah, for thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards. Beware, lest Hezekiah persuade you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. 
Hath any of the gods of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arphid? Where are the gods of Seraphtium? And have they delivered the Sumerians out of my hand? Who are they among all the gods of these lands, that they have delivered their land out of my hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand? But they held their peace, and answered him not a word. For the king's commandment was, Answer him not. Then came Eliakim, and the son of Helakim, and he was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of Asaph the recorder, to Hezekiah with their clothes rent, and told him the words of Rabshakeh. Isaiah chapter number 37 And it came to pass, when King Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes, and covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth, unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be the Lord thy God will hear the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria, his master, hath sent to reproach the living God, and will reprove the words which the Lord thy God hath heard. Therefore lift up thy prayer for the remnant remnant, remnant that is left. So the servants of the king of Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say unto your master, Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words which thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Assyria hath blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear of a rumor, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshakeh returned, and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And he heard saying concerning Tiraka, the king of Ethiopia, He has come forth to make war with thee. And when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the lands by destroying them utterly. And shalt thou be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them, which my fathers destroyed, as Gozan and Haran and Rezeph and the children of Eden, which were in Telesar? Where is the king of Hamath and the king of Arphid and the king of the city of Seraphim? Hina and Iva. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers, and read it. And Hezekiah went up unto the house of the Lord, and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth, Incline thine ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thine eyes, O Lord, and see. And hear all the words of Shennacherib, which hath sent to reproach the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries, and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone, Therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Lord our God, save us from his land and from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord, even thou only. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, 
Whereas thou hast prayed to me against Shennacherib, king of Assyria, this is the word which the Lord hath spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee, and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? By thy servants hast thou reproached the Lord, and hast said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border, and the forest of his carmel. I have digged and drunk water, and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers of the besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now have I brought it to pass, that thou shouldest be to lay waste defense cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field, and as the herbs, as the grass of the housetops, and as the corn blasted before it be grown up. But I know thy abode, and thy going out, and thy coming in and thy rage against me. Because thy rage against me and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, therefore I will put a hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way which thou camest. And this shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such as groweth of itself, and the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, shall do this. Therefore, Thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, saith the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. Then the angel of the Lord went forth, and smote in the camp of the Assyrians, an hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Shennacherib, king of Assyria, departed, and went and returned, and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nichra, his god, that Adaramelech, and Sharizer, his sons, smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia. And Ezerhaddon, his son, reigned in his stead. Well, thank you for listening to tonight's story from the Bible. This has been the story of Hezekiah, as found in the Bible, Isaiah chapters number 36 and 37. Hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Chris Rossetti, free to laugh now here in the city of San Francisco. Free to laugh now because I was set free from 30 years of depression. And I want to encourage everybody listening that if you are suffering from depression, despair, anxiety, or fear of any kind, please do not give up hope. Whatever you do, do not give up hope. Seek help. Do not isolate yourself. And ask God to help you. He's waiting to hear from you. Have a great night, everybody. God bless you. And until next time, be blessed.